<laughs> it's BBC Music Day and to mark it, 45 blue plaques have been unveiled across the country today to celebrate our local music heritage. Seven of them are in this region. The idea is to honour people or places that have played an important role in music. People like John Peel and Sid Barrett from Pink Floyd and places like the stables in Milton Keynes, set up by Dame Cleo Lane and Sir Johnny Dankworth. The BBC's Young Jazz Musician of the Year, Alex Rideout, at the stables in Milton Keynes today to help celebrate a venue that helped her career, a venue that now has a blue plaque. If you look at the, 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 the people that have played here over the years, from Amy Winehouse to the Shires, the diversity of music is huge now, and, and it's, it's because we do so much, really. And for Sid Barrett, the founder of Pink Floyd, it was Wish You Were Here, as a blue plaque was unveiled at the School of Art in Cambridge, where he studied, composed and performed. And for members of his family who were there, it was more than just a plaque in the wall. It was more important than that. To us, he was my brother. It's very difficult to imagine that your brother, who you love um, as a brother, means so much to so many people. The singer Sandy Denny of Fairport Convention played her last gig in her local village hall in Byfield in North Hants, just days before she died from a brain injury. Today, the village turned out to hear her music, including the seminal classic, Where Does All the Time Go? She's obviously a bit of an icon to all of us, and uh, particularly, I think, to female singers. Um, we take our lead from her. There were plaques too for Norwich Art Centre, which has long been a launch pad for new bands, and Bedford Corn Exchange, one of seven venues in the town where BBC orchestras were based during the war. At Morton in Essex, singer Steve Marriott of the Small Faces was honoured at Beehive Cottage, where he lived and composed. Broadcaster John Peel lived in the Suffolk village of Great Finborough for 33 years. He not only lived there, he did many of his programmes from his home studio. It's quite an honour. I think it's good for the village. Um, it puts us on the map. And, and it's, it's really good that it's happening for John, so I'm, I'm delighted. The artists have a special place in the hearts of music lovers. They're no longer with us, but they've left behind gold dust. Wish you were here. Sean Peel, BBC Look East. And you can see the full list of 45 plaques with some of the great stories behind them by going to bbc.co.uk forward slash music. Some great music as yeah. well, wasn't it?